Hello friends, let's try to understand working of T flip-flop using NAND gates. So T flip-flop can be constructed using SR latch. So we will draw SR latch first. SR latch has two NAND gates with outputs Q and Q bar and inputs R and S. Then in SR latch we see that output of first NAND gate is connected as input of second and output of second NAND gate is connected as input of first one so uh, for this circuit RSR input and QN and QN bar which are final outputs ok so S and R can take four values 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now explanation of this part we already learned in SR latch video so link of that I will provide in comments or in description so when both are 0 0 output becomes 1 1 which is forbidden condition when it is 0 1 output will become 1 0 which is set condition for 1 0 it is 0 1 which is reset condition and for 1 1 it is Q and Q bar which is no change condition so up to this we learn in previous video now further we will simplify this ok so we will draw two more NAND gates in order to construct T flip flop so T flip flop has four NAND gates 1 2 3 and 4 then common input we will take and we will call it as CLK which is clock input then we will take one more common input and we will call it as T and there is going to be third input also which will get connected to Q as well as to Q bar ok so we will try to find equation of R and S once we get equation of R and S we can easily find the QN and QN bar value final output value using this table so R and S we need so for R means for first NAND gate inputs are CLK, T and Q bar so it should be CLK into T into Q bar the whole bar and S should be for S means for gate number 2 inputs are CLK, T and Q so it should be CLK into T into Q the whole bar ok so what we will need to get the value of R and S is value of CLK value of T value of Q and value of Q bar so if CLK is 0 let's try to understand what happens if CLK is 0 one of the input of NAND gate 1 and one of the input of NAND gate 2 becomes 0 and if input of NAND gate is 0 then output becomes 1 this is the property of NAND gate so output will become 1 and we don't care what are the values of T, Q and Q bar then we must keep our CLK is equal to 1 at that time T can take value 0 and at that time Q should be either 0 or 1 and T can be 1 at that time Q will be either 0 and 1 and when Q is 0 1 0 1 Q bar should be 1 0 1 0 ok so let's try to understand value of R and S so value of R and S is very simple we will follow the these two equations to get R we should know CLK T and Q bar so T, CLK T and Q bar we will multiply them first then we will take inverse of it so 1 into 0 into 1 is 0 inverse is 1 1 into 0 into 0 is 0 inverse is 1 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 and inverse is 0 1 into 1 into 0 is 0 inverse is 1 then for S we should know CLK T and Q so CLK T and Q in first three columns so 1 into 0 into 0 is 0 bar of it will become 1 1 into 0 into 1 is 0 power of it will become 1 
then 1 into 1 into 0 is 0 bar will become 1 and 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 bar will become 0 ok so let's substitute the value of q and q bar or qn and qn bar which are final outputs which are final outputs over here so when r and s are 1 1 output becomes 1 1 which is no change condition again 1 1 no change condition again 1 1 no change condition for r is equal to 0 s is equal to 1 outputs are going to be 1 0 which is set condition and for r is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 this third condition outputs are 0 1 which is reset condition now what is meaning of it so let's try to understand when input t is equal to 0 our output is going to be no change so this condition is going to be no change condition and when t is equal to 1 at that time our output becomes set and reset ok so how to find whether output is going to be set or reset for that we will see what are the value of q and qn means previous value of q and next value of q ok so if q is 0 over here qn becomes 1 and if q is 1 qn becomes 0 so they are opposite of one another that's why this condition is called as toggle condition so in sr latch we get three condition if clock is 0 then we get no change condition if clock is 1 and t is 0 again we get no change condition and if clock is 1 t is 1 we get toggle condition so this was the overall explanation of sr latch and further t flip flop Thank you everyone.